Welcome back to SmartTube. Today I have for you a practical solution for water level monitoring and control. Managing water levels in tanks can be a real hassle, but what if I told you there is a device that can help you with that? It is WF96L water level controller. In this video we will break down its features, specifications and setup process, showing you how it can simplify water management tasks for various applications. SmartTube welcomes, consider subscribing, let's go! This device, the WF96L water level controller, is designed to make your life easier when it comes to monitoring and controlling water levels in different tanks. It's not flashy, but it gets the job done efficiently. What makes the device reliable? It's all about the internals. With dual processors, a 8-bit MCU for local control and a 32-bit MCU for Wi-Fi connectivity, it ensures stability even in demanding industrial settings. But let's talk practicality. Whether you are dealing with HVAC systems, municipal drainage or irrigation setups, or septic tanks levels, the WF96L can handle it. It offers four control modes, add water, pump water, time-limited adding water and time-limited pumping water, giving you flexibility in managing your water systems. Now about that Tuya Smart app integration. It's handy, you can monitor water levels remotely on your smartphone, set alarms for upper and lower limits, and even share access with others. Plus, installation is straightforward, with its compact design and DIN rail mounting option. And now we can dig into the details of this device that is a water level controller. You can find two versions of this device. One can be 220 volts device, another can be 12 volts device. The one that I bought is a 220 volts device. The price for such device is around $35 and I bought this device from AliExpress and you can find the link to this device in the video description. And now let's look at the device. So with the device you got also some cables, but like, let's first look at the device. As you could already got from the introduction to this device, you can control two devices with this controller. So two on the left inputs are for the one device, then next two are for second device and on the right side Two inputs are for powering the controller. On the top we have six inputs, but over here we will connect these cables, which will let the device know what is the level of the water in the tank. So my setup that I will I will create will only use the features of knowing the, the level of the water in the tank, and unfortunately I don't need, for now at least, those two relays. From the front you have some Chinese letters, signs that I don't understand. However, you can see the, the rock zone, it is Wi-Fi. I tried to find on the Zigbee, but I think I couldn't find it. So I thought that I have a good signal over my septic tank. So I will use the Wi-Fi and here you can feel that there are two buttons. So those two buttons can control, I assume, the relays, because it's not, only, it's not only by application, but also physically you can do it. And as it was said on the DIN rail, you have the option to put on. From the side, in terms of the weight of the device, it's, I think it's quite heavy, and the cables that I have here are quite long, and you have five of them. So you can have, you know about five levels of the water in the tank. Now on the screen you can see the diagram how to connect the device. And starting from the, from the bottom, so as I said, two, two inputs on the right. We have the first one from the left, gonna be a neutral cable, then a phase cable. From the top, and the uh, first from the left side won't be used, but we'll start connecting the cables of the water level 
from the second one and the second one gonna be a blue one which is the shortest cable then we have a green one yellow red and white and the white is actually the the longest and that will say whether the septic sep my septic tank will be empty and then the red one will say that uh, septic tank is full in 25%, then 50%, 75 and if blue gonna be in the water, then it means it's full, 100%. So, alright, so now I will connect the device to the power, and on the phone you have to install the Tuya Smart application, and I will be adding this device now to the Tuya Smart. So first, we need to unscrew a little those bottom screws. Now I have a cable that will, con will be connected to the electricity and don't look at color of my cables but the neutral should go to the left side so here and then the face oh the face here Sorry. it didn't catch it so and okay so we have a neutral and a face, and this is the, all the connection we need. So now I can put the, the second end of the cable to the electricity. And now I can, you can see that the one of the light is flashing in red. Okay, so I don't know whether it, it tries to connect to the Wi-Fi, probably yes. So let's now move to the smartphone view, where I will try to add this device to the Tuya smart application. Okay. We are in the smart to your smart, and you can already see that there is one device ready to control. So wow! I even didn't I didn't need to do anything. You've already found the device. So okay, so that's awesome. So this is what we need. So now I click add, and it wants the password to the Wi-Fi. And now it seems like the device is being added. It's really simple, I didn't expect to be that, that simple and now the red light on the controller is not flashing, it's just stable, solid red light. And it is already added, added successfully, so let me maybe change the name, so it's gonna be, a, I will call it water level, water level, and done, done. And let's see what's happening now. Current level, so we said that it is 0%. And here you, as you can see that you can enable alarm. You can turn on something when it reaches 25%. 100, at 100% something will turn off. So alarm, we can get alarm when it's gonna be 0, 100%. So for sure I will enable the alarm because I want to have it but actually I will do it through the home assistant because here I'm using the Tuya but I will add this device to the home assistant and everything will be there and I suppose based on what I uh, read everything should be also in home assistant visible and configurable. Unfortunately I will not add any devices that will be turned on by specific level of the of the water i will just use the cables as i said those five to know what is the water level in my septic tank so now what i will do i will add to the device those five cables and then show you whether they work whether they show the correct water level so let's see how it works and now we can connect this five cables to the water controller first cable to the second place so i will just unscrew everything okay and now we can start from as we said from the blue one which is the shortest then green yellow red and the longest cable which is white okay so we have those five cables the right way connected to the device and now what we can do we can put the ends to the water and see whether the application works and shows that the tank is full in specific percent. Okay, I prepared a setup to check how the water level works. So we need to first put to the water 
the white cable as the white one is the longest and it should show the zero so if there is let's say empty or reach to the cable first and the, the white one there should be a um, current level equal zero and that works so the next one would be a red one and it immediately changed to end with five percent so that is exactly what we wanted to have and now the yellow 50 percent quick one then re uh, green 75 nice and then the shortest cable the white one which should show 100 then we have 100 and actually the second relay is now on so it switched from first to second maybe you can see that yeah so you can see that here the outlet 2 is on I'm just thinking whether it's whether I can switch off all those automations so I don't want to turn on the relays but it's working well so the, that's fine and now I will show you how I want to set it up in my septic tank to know the level of the liquid in it so I bought this this box for the water level controller so inside the box I will put the device here it fits like almost perfect and then on one end when the power cable will be in I'm gonna have this and on the other hand on the other end where are those five cables are out I will put this here and this box will be outside mounted to the lamp near the septing tank and the, those five cables will go to the septing tank from the top and of course it has a lid so it will gonna be closed like that and I hope it will work nicely and these cables how I, I will do it so I will zip them on every level together so they won't hang uh, separately it will be they will be tight uh, tightened together so like like that and when the one will be ending then I'm gonna put uh, a zip just they will be in one place together I thought that it's gonna be a good idea to show you how it looks like in home assistant because I'm gonna use it in the home assistant and create all the automations in it so I'm in the home assistant if you've seen my other videos I'm using uh, integration local to ya so if I go to my integrations in the home assistant and look for the to ya local to ya so I tried with the local to ya and it seems like the device won't be visible there, there but let's see no other new device there's one no local key okay but if I go to the official one I see water level it is here okay it's showing me as a temperature but actually it's not a temperature so I will now put the two cables so the 25% and it's showing 2.5 hmm it should be 25% so it doesn't seem to work correctly and now 100% is gonna be what okay so as you can see it works fine quite fast but the problem is that it doesn't show in person so what I will do I will need to create a template that will read this settings and change it to the percent but that won't be difficult and I will show you that in the material or maybe just in the in the description in the video description I will put the code to to show you how to how to do it in the home assistant and here you can see the setup the final setup of the water level controller so in this case there is the water level controller and from the bottom you can see two cables one is the power the second is the five cables with the sensors so the power cable is connected with the lamp and those sensors those five cables go underneath the those little stones and then came out here and you can see and here you can see how it looks like so I zip those cables like that so the five cables and then in some length there is a first sensor 
and after a half a meter another and another and another and at the bottom I put some weight as each those sensors should not float on the water they should drown and those weights are I think pretty heavy and even with in the septic tank that should work because it's pretty heavy so now what I will do I need to open it and then put the sensors inside and that should be enough and then wait whether everything is working correctly as it was with the with the water so i think that's that's it and now i will just show you how i did the setup in the home assistant and how i can see it so let's move back to the computer and now i will show you how i set up the water level controller in the home assistant so I can start from showing you the entity that I get from the Tuya, which actually you could already see, but I'm just I just want to show you because it's quite important. And we have the climate water level. I'm not sure why it's as a climate, but let's let's say okay, it's fine, we can have it. But this sensor this climate is not giving you the percentage of the filling uh, tank it's just uh, saying heat so this is not what we want but this has a attribute which we actually need so the current temperature 2.5 this is uh, as a, it should be actually written 25 but it is 2.5 but this attribute we need so we need to create a sensor in our configuration.yaml that will take this attribute from climate water level uh, uh, multiply it by 10 and give a unit of measure percent so now i'm going to the file editor configuration.yaml is now open and in the section template sensor i'm creating a new sensor so name septic tank filling level the state as i said needs to come from the climate water level but we are taking a attribute state so the attribute state it is a current temperature then we multiply it by 10 assign unit of measure percent and the state class is a measurement and this is everything what we need to create a proper sensor that we will use we will know what is the level of the of the filling and now after writing that we need to restart the home assistant and the new sensor will pop up and now if i go to developers tool then septic septic sensor septic tank filling level we have 20 25 percent so this is our new sensor that we just created and based on this one of this sensor i created a card which you can see here so there is a this is a gout gout card and let me show you how it's configured so if i go edit that's the fifth one and we have a gout card then we want to adjust the colors so uh, up to if, if from tw uh, 225 we have green then if we will get 50 it's gonna be yellow and if 75 it's gonna be red so we will clearly see that the tank is full it's 75 percent so we need to be careful whether it will now not be over full and that would be everything about the card and it's actually on the front so if i open the home assistant the first tab is always opening and i see what is the filling level however i can also add a automation and i will show you what automation added so in the settings go to automations and you have to create a new automation but the automation that i want to show you i will also put it to the description of the video so you can copy the code but what i created is i created a entity trigger is an entity state and it is triggered every time the entity will change its value so it's not from to or anything like that so if state is is has changed then the automation is triggered and what i will get is a service notify mobile app adam so this is a home assistant application on my smartphone and i will get a message septic tank filling level is then i'm taking the value of this of the sensor the state of the sensor and at the at the end i'm adding a percent and a dot so this is a message that i will get every time the state of the sensor will change
And that's gonna be everything about the water level controller. I hope that I helped to solve your problem related to water level man uh, management and controlling. Or maybe I give you an idea what you can add to your smart home. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.